trying to prove why is this linear okay so um we first what we do given a differential equation y triple prime plus 5x y prime plus y sin x is equals to 0 consider the terms containing unknown function it and its derivative so consider l of y you define a new operator is equals to y triple prime plus 5xy prime we we have to consider this term it's involving y this term is involving y and this one is also involving y so all of them will come together here now if there is any other term like plus cosine x or plus tan x i will not consider that term here only the term containing y and y primes y and its derivatives okay so once we have this now this is like a uh, like an operator whose domain is the functions which are differentiable three times so domain is all the functions which are thrice differentiable and um, and its range will be again a function out of it because when you take a deriv triple derivative of y it's a function and so this is like a function here the capital L so consider now or you can say let u and v belongs to the domain of this uh, L and domain is I will denote it as a c3 function here so you do not have to put uh, you can leave the double lines in between otherwise it will sound like it's a complex uh, we are thinking like it's a complex number but u and v are c3 means thrice differentiable and third derivative is continuous also we do not need third derivative to be continuous but we at least need a functions in the domain to be uh, differentiable three times so these two functions are in the domain of this capital L um, so we now consider um, u plus v u and v are functions here so L of u plus v is nothing but by definition u plus v triple prime plus 5 times x u plus v prime plus u plus v times sin x so I am just using the definition of L L is whenever you input any function in L it will take three derivatives multiply phi x with y prime and y sin x so if I input sum of two function in this L it will um, take the derivative of that sum third derivative of that sum 5x times the first derivative of that sum and the sum times sin x exactly the same definition just inputting u plus v instead of y now I have to simplify this expression u plus v triple prime is what very good u triple prime plus v triple prime and 5x times u prime plus v prime and then the last term we have here u sin x plus v sin x so we get this expression I can further simplify the middle term here as well just distribute 5x to both the terms so I will get 5x u prime 5x v prime u sin x v sin x okay so this is just a simplification of this expression sum of two function derivative we can take it as a derivative of each functions and then add it together okay so what are we getting out of it 
if i collect all u terms this one this one and this is the one which has u these are the three terms which have u involved in it and con and collect all the y term uh, v terms terms containing v function so what do we get uh, out of this so the terms containing u will be nothing but by definition of l if we see this function whenever we input y it will spit out this thing so these three terms together we can write in terms of l of l of what which function l of u exactly so this is l of u and all blue terms i can write it as l of v so what if so if i insert a sum of two function in this operator which is free from purely x function and only involves the functions y, terms containing y then when we in, input the sum of two function it will be same as like if you input them individually apply this operator and then add the final product so this is called as this uh, this is one property if this property gets satisfied and second property is if l times a scalar multiple of u which by definition here will be c here belongs to a real number and c can be pulled out it's u triple prime 5x c u prime plus c u sin x and this is equals to c times u triple prime i am just taking out c that's it taking c common and i will get here c times l of u so if you in input a sum and it splits out like this and if you input a uh, scalar multiple of function and scalar comes out of that um operator this l is said to be linear this will imply l is linear and if l is linear associated differential equation is linear so given a differential equation we construct l once we have l we try to prove these two properties and if these two properties satisfy l is linear and therefore differential equation is linear yes yes this one as well as this one and would you want would you technically want to start with the u plus v one uh say it again Yeah, I would start with u. I can even start with u plus c v. I can merge these two property all together as well in one property if I want to. I just tried to show you scalar multiple. It should be linear with respect to scalar multiple. It should be linear with respect to addition. So um, you can start with u plus c times v, and you should, if you're able to show l of u plus c times l of v, that's fine. These two property combine in one property. you can do it you can do that as well um what exactly is making all this happen you can see what what property did we use in this whole proof we use that sum of two function derivative is derivative of their sum individually so derivatives are linear there like limits are linear sum of limits is a limit of sum so these things are happening that's the reason we are getting so nicely everything falling at the right place and we are combining them suppose if in this differential equation instead of um y sin x i had here y square sin x suppose in this differential equation up here so my l will be y triple prime 5xy prime plus y square sin x the only change i am saying here is suppose our problem is exactly same but we had instead of this problem we were given 
and let me not write here let me write it on a separate sheet so um, I just wanted to show you or let's not do this also so here's the same page which we can um, we can edit it by just typing changing a problem here so suppose problem is this it's just for sake of your understanding I'm changing a problem previous one is as it is um, you have the solution so what is the difference happening in this one let's see UV remains same right everything here what is the change in this step can anybody tell me here what will I have I'll have u plus v whole square right and then u plus v whole square will be u square v square and 2 uv one more extra term and that's extra term which I don't have a control now now in this whole I will have this plus an extra term 2 uv sin x and then this is not equals to l u plus l v you will have this extra term coming up here so this is not linear differential equation this is non-linear differential equation so the differential equation this one L of this when we have a y square up here this is non-linear so non-linearity in unknown function will make the differential equation non-linear but non-linearity is there in independent variable sin x is non-linear and that is not causing a differential equation to be non-linear so independent function if it appears as a non-linear function in differential equation it will not make it non-linear differential equation independent function non-linearity in unknown function or dependent variable will make differential equation non-linear okay so that's the key here okay so let's move forward then so if you understood this point you have in the up